This is the engine coolant temperature sensor. And uh, you can see it's a pretty simple sensor. It's got two wires that will go in here. This threads somewhere into maybe into the intake manifold or into the um, thermostat housing or something like that. Whatever is happening, this is this part here is inside the path of the coolant. Typically, it is the hottest part of the coolant before it goes to the radiator, which is usually um, just before the thermostat. And so that's going to give us the temperature of the coolant, and that's going to help the engine make it the computer make a decision about how much fuel to put into the engine. For instance, if you had um, it was minus 30 then typically you need a little bit more fuel to start the vehicle. And then once the vehicle warms up and the coolant temperature sensor, the coolant rushing past is changing and warming up, then the coolant temperature sensor can tell the computer and the computer uses that information to make good decisions. So you can see on our wiring diagram here that um, this square here is our computer and there is 12 volts coming in and then there's a it steps it down, the computer does, down to 5 volts, and it does that for all components on the fuel injection system. And it sends that 5 volt current to our, into our coolant temperature sensor. And that 5 volt, 5 volt signal comes in and goes through this resistor. Now, this is called a thermistor. The coolant temperature sensor uses um, a resistor that varies with temperature, it's a thermistor. And as the temperature goes up, that changes the resistance. And when it changes the resistance, that means there's a voltage drop that changes. And that change in a voltage drop gets sent to, um, back to the voltage sensing, sensing circuit. And then this make, the computer can then make a decision about, okay, if I have four volts coming back, then that means it equals a certain temperature, some certain number of degrees. If I have one volt coming back, then that means that I have a certain degree of temperature. There's lots, it could either go up or down uh, according to the temperature, but um, you only know that if you look at the specific vehicle and how to test it.